Hello, my name is Oren, and today I'm going to speak about compliance in engineering licensing. Specifically, we'll focus on geography. So let me uh, share my screen. Let, let's start by, by reviewing what kind of compliance the license managers give us as a built-in uh, capability. So uh, it keeps, uh, ke keeps us from using more, than, uh, more licenses than we actually uh, purchase. Um, it also keeps the number of concurrently used licenses to that level. Um, it keeps us from to only use the features that we only purchased uh, and so on. All this is built in and by that the vendor may, uh, made it easier for us because the compliance is kept by the license manager itself. Um, but the geography aspect is not covered by the license manager. Why? It's more a, a com complex to implement that. And it depends also on the organization and the network setup and so on. And the second why is why to limit at all? Um, vendor do that in order to create different pricing for the product, which is um, always needed. A typical um, implementation was to uh, uh, allow companies to buy cheaper licenses for, for the same functionality uh, for uh, economics, uh, low level economics, like at the time, India, China, and so on. And many, many companies actually uh, purchase these licenses. Uh, it's also implemented in the level of a country, so you can also only use it for USA, for example. It can be a, a city, it can be even to a, a specific facility of, of a company. We have seen many, many examples to that. But this is, uh, it's written in the contract. It's not implemented by the license manager. So, um, how would an uh, auditor do it when he comes to audit us? He will check the log files. So uh, we need to preserve the log files and uh, the auditor will check and will see which are the users, where are they located. Uh, we can definitely see that by the IP address of the, of the user that consumes the license. And uh, the auditor can also use the allocation on the user's PC. So we can see uh, which user is allocated to which license manager. Um, so how, how do we prevent a compliance breach? Uh, we can limit the access uh, to the licenser, to license specific license server or specific features by a IP address. And in FlexLM, we do it by the options file. Um, we can limit uh, it by hiding the license server port because when, we, when it's open, um, our very smart engineer will find a way to get to it, uh, even if it's not uh, compliance. Um, we can implement the OpenLM router, which actually does exactly that. And we need to be very, very careful about um, allocation when traveling between branches because the engineer comes to our branch from another country and the setting is still connected. Uh, in the setting, he's still connected to the uh, home license manager. Um, so in order to, um, to summarize, uh, we spoke about uh, compliance in engineering licensing, and specifically, uh, we focused on the geography uh, aspect of the compliance. Thank you for uh, joining in today. If you like the content, please click like, and I will be happy to get your uh, responses. Thank you.